Okay, so this is how you want to remove the space bar here. And there's going to be four clips up in the, there's one up in the top right. There's one in the right middle, left middle. And you want to try to uh, get in between those. I have this tool I'm using here that I ordered off Amazon. It came with the kit with my new kind of white butterfly piece. And um, yeah, it's kind of a tough process. I think I actually kind of broke mine trying to do this. So I'd recommend using uh, the duster or the compressed air first. If your space bar is sticky, just use compressed air first. And then if that doesn't work, then try to remove the space bar. I found there's a lot of videos out there that are not telling you the right way to do this. So I made this, but there was one video that I took most of my information from and I will link her video. She did a really great job as well. And as you can see, uh, I took my laptop into the computer store earlier and he actually the guy working at the store gave me this uh, broken kind of uh, recycle keyboard here to practice this technique on. So I did this technique once before, and then you're gonna see me actually work on my computer and fix the space bar. So to figure out which uh, kit to order, there should be letters like A1990, A199 something. That information can be found on the bottom of your MacBook Pro. Also, if there's plastic on the inside of uh, underneath your space bar, I just cut that plastic out. Just be really careful cutting it out. But some MacBook Pros have plastic there. The other videos I saw didn't show that, but it didn't seem to be an issue. I so when you're taking this off, you want to be super careful that you're... What I think happens is, I think what happened to me is that you're, instead of pulling up in between these two pieces, you pull up this piece and then you snap these little pins off and then you're scrooged magrooged. That's how you remove this face bar. Okay, here we go. Let's give this a shot. Um, just did a practice on a laptop that was broken that the computer store guy gave me. And, um, but I ordered This guy here from Amazon, new space bar. And uh, so what happened is I think I was trying to, something got jammed in here. Maybe it was already broken, but I was trying to open, pull off the space bar. And I think I snapped these top little hinges here. So I'm pretty sure the best way to do this is I actually kind of fully yeah, because that bottom doesn't... See that top one goes down? That one doesn't move at all. I'm going to actually need to, I think, break this, unfortunately. Um, so my little Amazon guy came with this piece here. Uh, and I found this is a good tool to get these plastic guys off here. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to break this thing off. Yeah, it was already snapped. All right, no turning back now. Let's do this thing. So you got to get these three sections off here, here, and here before. And this is the part we're going to have to re-glue. Just want to be so delicate. Mm-hmm. 
Right to my left side. I can't remember which side those are. And then, I think I found that coming through this section here, seems like there's a little gap right here, right where the button is. That's your point of entry. And we just wanna lift up these pins. So I remember exactly that the top and the bottom are the same. So I don't know if there's a special thing with that. Okay. So this is an, I guess this is an important part here that this metal bar here that's closer to the edge, that one's a little farther, has to be on the bottom side. So. We're gonna first, it's weird because there's still this glue here. I'm kind of wondering if, it, if I might not have to super glue it again, if they might just stick, we're gonna see. And this guy's gonna go in like this. Just like that. And then we wanna line up these pins. And the reason is you gotta put this white piece in first. There's other videos where someone tried to snap in this white piece without taking out these clear pieces. And that is just going to break the butterfly mechanism. So then I wanna put them in those little holes. Bam, we're in there. I'm gonna try not gluing this first. Let's see if the glue that was left over will still work. Kinda looks like it is. I wanna do it as little. Changing. Oh my god, we might just be right in this thing. I think that's it, you guys. Push all that back down onto that sticky stuff. Okay. Now let's try putting this guy back on. We got these little hook flanges at the bottom, clips at the top.
Boom, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That's so great.